Before we start the video, we hope for your support and subscribing to the channel to continue. Yes, this is logical, but it is still strange or dazzling to see a huge bowling ball with a large pilgrimage, and a thin feather, perhaps weighing no more than 2 grams, falling at a similar speed. What is the secret in that well? The secret behind this strange experience, is gravity, and in general gravity has a certain effect on the human mind. It causes all things to fall at the same speed, ball, feather, or anything else. Although we know the answer to the question of what if a ball and a feather fall at the same time, whichever arrives first but there is something that drives us to over 400 years ago, the story goes, Galileo stood atop the leaning tower of Pisa and dropped two balls of different masses over the edge. As we all know, both balls smacked the ground at the same time, proving that gravity affects objects acceleration regardless of mass, though whether that was a real experiment or merely a thought experiment is still debated. To demonstrate the effects of air, not gravity, on falling objects, physicist Brian Cox visited the largest vacuum chamber in the world, NASA's Space Power Facility in Ohio. In this video, you see Galileo's centuries-old concept illustrated quite. A bowling ball and a feather both fall at the same comparison of the antiquated view and the outcome of the experiment according to the story, Galileo discovered through this experiment that the objects fell with the same acceleration, proving his prediction true, while at the same time disproving Aristotle's theory of gravity, which states that objects fall at speed proportional to their mass. Most historians consider it to have been a thought experiment rather than a physical test. We can see this demonstrated on a grand scale. Even though most of us know the result of the experiment beforehand, it's still pretty cool to see it happen. There's something deeply counterintuitive about a feather falling as quickly as a bowling ball, which happens because, in the absence of air and other interfering factors, gravity acts on all objects in the exact same way. The show's host, physicist Brian Cox, carried out the experiment in the world's largest vacuum chamber, a 12-story tall cylinder operated by NASA. This room was built in the 1960s as a nuclear test center for nuclear propulsion systems, and this gives you an explanation for its strange construction and appearance. It is built of aluminum so that it is easy to deal with radiation. Because aluminum is not strong enough to build a vacuum chamber, an external cement layer was built for the room, which acts as a radiation insulator, and also acts as an external pressure vessel. Thus, the room is now able to withstand the force outside it, when the air is emptied. The experiment was carried out in two stages the first stage without vacuuming the room, Cox and the team involved in the experiment dropped a feather and a ball. Their observation on experience is that the ball and the shuttlecock fell unevenly, where the ball reached the ground before the shuttlecock. Their interpretation of this observation is that air is present as a resistive factor. In the second stage of the experiment, the scientists evacuated the air, and this process took about three hours to empty 300,000 cubic feet of air from the room. Once the unloading has been completed, until we had almost complete everything inside the room, then cameras were turned on to monitor the fall process. Experiment result. Just what Galileo predicted happened, the ball and the shuttlecock both arrived at the exact same time without any time difference. Here the law of free fall applies, which says, that if two bodies of different masses fall if we drop that experience from a different point of view and observation of Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, for example, Newton's interpretation would be that the ball and the feather fell because there is a force pulling them down, which is the force of gravity, whereas Einstein would have imagined this scene differently, which is why the ball and the shuttlecock fall at the same time, is that they don't really fall. His interpretation of that would be as follows, that if we can't see the background of the scene of the fall, there is no way for us to know that the ball and the shuttlecock are accelerating toward the ground. That is why he would see that they did not fall. And in the end, the laws of free fall have been validated, and this teaches us that not everything we see may actually appear to be true, and that only meditation and science can reveal any unknown truth. Well, what if channel followers, dear people, the video has ended, we hope to support you, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to receive all new.